Now, don't I look handsome? Thought so. Let's continue where we left off. Fucking looking around for a fight. Looks like some shit's going down at Town Book. My game's been kind of laggy as of late, so I don't know how this will turn out. What's this about a trader glitch? I haven't been on for a while, so... Hey, get out. I hope this guy can fill me in. probably left. Usually people say the piece and then just like fucking leave. Like I mean, that ought to do it. If you're a craft and you steal some shit, that can get you into a trader status. Which makes no sense, devs. Like, if I loot a quartz, who's gonna fucking notice me if it's out in the middle of nowhere? That is shit. I told you, devs. I told you. you adding more restrictions is going to make this game even crappier. Because if people do something by accident or something like that, all those restrictions are going to go to them. There you go, devs. You just lost another player. In order to make a proper trader system, you have to talk to the traders. Like, there's no getting around it. There's no... Oh, you know, just add more restrictions and everything will be better. Because shit like that will happen. And he's not the first. I've seen other people leave because of that system too. I 
I should probably kill something for you guys. Oh. Fuck you, bear. Like, I wouldn't mind helping you build a trader system that punishes the wicked. Because that's how it's supposed to be, but at the same time, a trader should heavily benefit off being a trader. There shouldn't be any drawbacks to being a trader. Especially in times like these. That's an old bear. I completely missed that. Oh, it doesn't have to be in the red. It just has to be in the yellow. I'll get back to what I was saying at that kill this fucking bear. But yeah. A trader system should be pretty clear cut. It should benefit both sides. The one who's doing the trading and the one who's not. Who's basically defending themselves. So to see that guy go, even though he's not on my server, it's still a play out of the game. I always try to be nice to people when they're saying they're about to quit or some shit like that. Because there's a reason behind it. And you gotta figure that reason out before they quit. So that way you know. I'm gonna see if my nation's protecting this. Knowing them, they're too lazy to. God damn. Let's see what we're dealing with. They took that one rather quickly, though I don't think the farms are heavily protected, like the other ones. Keep some stam, in case I got a run away. Let's get out my knife. capping it. Uh, glitch much?
Alright. Well, that was a good fight, my dude. Very well done. I think I'll just... No, I don't want your axe. It's weaker than mine. It's weaker than mine. I don't want... Take that. I could use that hammer. Yeah, like the White Wolf Clan, I don't have any bad ties with them. Like, I'm on my Midlander, I'm just doing Midlander shit. I could lay build that guy like six versions of the hammer I just stole, all plus six. So if they really have a problem with it, I can just give them reformations for what I did. They had the right way of doing it. They had a guy on the stairs while the guy was capping. What they should have done though was they should have had the higher leveled guy on the stairs and the lower capping. Because the higher leveled guy would have held me off for at least a little bit longer until he fully capped it. Granted, it won't change much. But it helped a lot in a fight like that. Because once he capped it, if the guy survived long enough, he could have just ran down and helped his friend. That's a nice flag, White Wolves. Though I, I think mine is a little bit more unique. They called this gilded. <laughs> I can't wait until the guild chest. That's why I'm really gonna start up on my trading bullshit. It's not just that update. Like, I know they're gonna do something to restrict the guild chest so not everyone has access to it. Like, just place in the guild castles, which would make no sense to me. It's a guild chest. It should be able to be placed anywhere. If they do that, I have, obviously, a runaround for that. I don't think they are. I think they're gonna add the guild chest to the capital and the guild castles, and that'll be it. Well, no. I think they should add the guild chest to at least uh, at least one of these castles. Or you know, a castle close to it. It's either that or have them in all castles. Because it's just a guild chest, that's all it is. It ain't gonna hurt anyone. It'd be good for the green leaves because they have a chest full of supplies that they can reimburse themselves with. So they can reinforce, so. Uh... Okay. Can't kill them. So they can reinforce the guys defending. In case they get killed and looted. Hmm. I don't want to start a fight, but I'm thinking about it now. I'm going to head over to the mines. This is a good place to find PvP. Just because, like, they need more places like this. 
Like, granted, this is okay, but it's not all that good for PvP. Because those crosses, like, even low-leveled enemies will fuck you up. Because they just go through all the armor for some reason. I'll see you guys when I get to the mines.